All right, let's go back to our lead story then at uh, this hour. The late uh, minister in the presidency, Jackson Mutembu, will be laid uh, to rest on a Sunday. And, of course, South Africans continue to pay tribute to uh, the minister in uh, the presidency. And uh, for more, we cross to our reporter, Natasha Piri, who has been outside the family home, the Mutembu home in Emalatheni in Mpumalanga. Very good afternoon uh, to you, uh, Natasha. Take us back to uh, when uh, the brother of uh, Mr. Jackson Mutembu Timber was addressing the media outside as to uh, what was said. I understand that there has been some details being shared at the moment about uh, the funeral, which is now taking place on Sunday, and we understand it will be official Category 1 funeral, as was stated uh, by, by the President. What more information do we have at this stage coming from the family? <laughs> Definitely, Flo, uh, that news coming out about uh, 30 minutes ago uh, that uh, the late uh, Minister Mtembu will be afforded uh, a Category 1 uh, funeral and flags, South African flags, will be flown at half mast. Let me just step out of the shot and just uh, show you a portrait that was just put up, um, you know, by the family and uh, his political home, uh, the ANC. Uh, Flo, you mentioned something uh, quite pivotal um, earlier on. We spoke to the brother of uh, the late minister, Mr. Michael Ntembu, and I mean, he was really struggling to hold back his tears. He was very, very emotional, um, you know, about uh, the passing, of course, of his brother, saying that this actually came at a very unexpected time. I mean, uh, Mr. Ntembu was a strong person, Flo. I mean, uh, just last week, uh, Tuesday, uh, Mr. Michael Ntembu had said that he had a conversation with his brother, and, uh, you know, Mr. Ntembu, uh, the minister had said to his brother that that, you know, COVID-19 really is real and it's time that South Africans take this seriously. He also gave caution to his brother to, you know, reminding him, Flo, to wear his mask, uh, you know, to keep his physical distancing and always sanitize his hands at all times. And that was actually the last conversation that uh, both brothers actually had uh, last week. So, I mean, it's still a shock for many. Yesterday, um, when my colleagues and Tanta Khatan and Abongi Dumako spoke to the Deputy Secretary General of the ANC. She had said that, you know, uh, people within the ANC members, ANC members are still struggling to come to grips uh, with his passing. I mean, just last week he posted on social media saying that he was not well, he was seeking medical attention and now this news uh, that shocked everybody yesterday. I mean, we've been speaking to various leaders of uh, various political parties like the EFF, uh, the EFF's deputy um, President Floyd Chibambu saying that, uh, you know, Mr. Mtembu was an incorruptible man. Uh, you know, he was a man who stood his own truth. And I mean, uh, one who actually took criticism as well and would always stand on the side of truth. We heard uh, the likes of um, the IFP, the likes of COPE and very, uh, various other political parties saying that he was a very respectable man. And uh, of course, his loss will be felt uh, by all and sundry. But Floyd, if I'll just take you, uh, you know, through a walkabout, um, my colleague and I, Stelom Kize, this is where um, a motorcade is expected, expected to happen uh, right about now. Uh, we saw a statement earlier on from uh, GCIS saying that a motorcade of, um, you know, various ministers and all those who worked under Mr. Jackson Tembu will be coming through here, throughout the streets of Mpumalang. Of course, you would expect this to happen because of COVID-19 regulations. So the family is actually trying by all means to ensure that everything actually goes according to plan to ensure sure that, you know, uh, COVID-19 regulations are actually, you know, adhered uh, to. There's an official here from the GCIS uh, somewhat briefing our colleagues as to how um, the motorcade, where the motorcade will actually start off. We are told that uh, it's going to come past the street, of course, and um, this is where, um, you know, members of GCIS, this is where other entities or stakeholders like Brand SA, like the NYDA, will pa pay their final respects and show uh, support to the family of, um, you know, the late minister, Flo. Much of your day today uh, in, in the neighborhood uh, at uh, Malatheni where uh, Mr. Jackson Mtembu is from and we've been hearing a lot uh, about uh, the, the, the minister, the late minister from friends, neighbors and, and, and relatives. Uh, I'm sure there is a sort of general sense of, 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 of loss in, in, in the community, isn't there? And I'm sure there's no surprise uh, for them as they see the strong media presence, us being there as well, cameras. I'm sure they understand, uh, of course, the stature, the man that uh, you know the community has lost but also that the, the, the country has lost 
Definitely, Flo. And I mean, just speaking to the people, community members around um, his neighborhood, I mean, people saying that although he was larger than life, he was very humble, Flo. I mean, this tells you that, I mean, he, he spent his time here. He was a humble man. He loved his, not only his family, but his community as well. I mean, he served the people of Mpumalang as well. I mean, not only, uh, you know, throughout his political career, but I mean, Flo, you know that he was the MEC of Transport in Mpumalanga from 1997 to 1999. He played a pivotal role um, within the structures of the ANC here within the province. I mean, we spoke to the provincial secretary, Umam Lindi, and Jalindjali earlier on, saying that uh, Mr. Mtembo was a person who actually took, uh, you know, her under his wing, uh, uh, you know, uh, t taught her uh, the political robes um, uh, and, and structures around here in Bumalanga. So, I mean, this is a man who, who played a very, very crucial role in her upbringing, who played a crucial role here uh, for the people of, uh, you know, in Bumalanga. He also played a very very pivotal role um, of flow in, uh, you know, the struggle of the country against the apartheid regime. Um, so, I mean, this is a person who was described larger than life. Um, he loved people. He loved his family, not only his community, but he loved his country. He served and he did a lot for, uh, you know, the people of uh, South Africa. I mean, we all know that he served as a chief whip within the ANC, um, you know, from 2016 to 2019. Not only that, he played a pivotal role within the ANC see the structures of the ANC and you see I mean in 2018 just to remind he was deployed to KZN where he worked and help, um, helping convene the provincial conference um, at that time so I mean uh, this is a man who whose presence actually is really felt yeah. uh, a lot of people had said that his passing is a loss uh, to the people of South Africa not only the ANC but but government as well Flo. Yeah. You know I was listening to uh, the ANC Deputy Secretary General Jesse Duarte yesterday paying tribute uh, to uh, Minister Jackson and Timber, and one of the things she said was, you know, this was someone who spoke well and articulately about uh, the ANC, someone who defended ANC values. And interestingly, as I watch you standing in the street opposite his house, I can see ANC colours. I don't know if uh, he would have been responsible for that, but there, there, there is, isn't there, a general sense that he really was someone who, who one of the people that brought, uh, you know, strong presence of uh, the ANC within the province of uh, Bumalanga, a province that we know uh, has a, a a strong ANC uh, presence and uh, surely his political family in Bumalanga, the ANC family in Bumalanga uh, will be missing him as, as uh, you know, as they pay tribute to him. Have you seen um, anyone coming in that we might want to know about? I mean, I know yesterday I spoke to the Premier of uh, Bumalanga and uh, she was conveying her condolences, but who have you seen coming in? Maybe some, some notable appearances of people who have been here from Bumalanga government. Well, uh, just earlier on, we were with uh, the provincial secretary of the province of the ANC um, within the province, Umam Lindi, when Jalin Jali, we exchanged a couple of words. I mean, she shared her fond memories with him, saying that, I mean, Mr. Mtembo was a person who stood for the truth, you know. Uh, whenever you were in the wrong, he would, you know, call you to order, he would lambast you, but call you to order. And, you know, things would be right by then. She had said that, uh, you know, he took her under his wing and um, when she was still in the ANC Youth League and shared fond memories of the two and uh, their relationship as well. So, I mean, these are just some of the notable leaders that have come through. Uh, we've seen a, a couple of uh, government, uh, you know, uh, colleagues and um, uh, people just coming through here. But of course, remember, they have to adhere to those COVID-19 regulations. And I think this is the whole point of the drive-by where people will just be in their cars, uh, where uh, these officials will actually address the family from the other side of the street to ensure that everybody is actually adhering to COVID-19. Yeah. Uh, regulations, but I mean, Flo, not only people from his own political home, the ANC, we've had uh, opposition party leaders uh, giving uh, their messages of uh, condolences. I mean, just speaking to some of them yesterday, they were so shocked. I mean, it's still hard to believe that uh, just last week, this person was actually, you know, talking and tweeting on social media, and uh, just yesterday uh, we heard the news of, uh, you know, his passing. We also heard uh, the president saying that his, his passing uh, is a loss to 
to the nation. Uh, he was a much loved uh, Kader and a respected colleague. And this is the kind of caliber and the kind of person that Jackson Tembu was who will dearly be missed. I mean, this show of, you know, all these cars and the people coming here actually speaks to that as well, that really this indeed was a rare, uh, special uh, kind of person flow. But um, we're just waiting for the motorcade. We're told that uh, they are ready. Um, we as members of the media just camping outside here, of course, adhering to COVID-19 regulations. And of course, we will bring you all the latest there. But just to remind our viewers, uh, his funeral will be taking place this Sunday in his hometown, in Malatlin. All right, thank you very much for that in-depth reporting. Natasha Piri there for us as uh, SABC News in Mpumalanga at Malatlin.